You can, actually. <laughs> it's a new, you can't. It's a can. new armada is threatening to invade our shores. It's not Spanish this time. It's Portuguese. Millions of jellyfish. The much-feared Portuguese men of war have swarmed up from the Bay of Biscay to infest French beach, and now they're arriving en masse along the coastlines of Devon, Cornwall and Wales. Luckily, none of them is quite as big as this one. Salia, Salia. That's the Portuguese men of war. I got that beauty in the South China Sea. You know why I love her? I love her because she's an outsider. She's silent, she's deadly. And if you came into contact with that, you'd die a very memorable death. I don't think they like that one, but uh, Peter Richardson, a marine conservationist, is here now. And it's true, isn't it, that we're, we've had more sightings of jellyfish now than we have for, for many years? Um, well, um, we're talking specifically about the Portuguese man of war. Um, right. It's been hit the headlines recently um, rather in rather alarmist uh, terms. You know, the newspapers have talked about an invasion of killer jellyfish. Mm. Yeah. I'm afraid it's not quite that dramatic. There have been tens of reports of Portuguese man of war washing up on the southwest coast, as you mentioned. Um, actually, the same thing happened last year. Uh, but before that, they were considered sort of pretty occasional and scarce in UK waters. So. But there are more now, aren't there? Um, difficult to say. Not necessarily the Portuguese man of war, but there, there is evidence to suggest that some of the other species of jellyfish, well, the true jellyfish, mm -hmm. um, uh, may be increasing as a result of, of various factors. Is the, the, their sting can be very nasty, can't it? My brother was um, stung off the Isle of Man, of all places, by a Portuguese man of war mm. many, many years ago when he was a kid, and he ended up in hospital. I mean, how dangerous are they? Um, well, they have been known to lead to fatalities in some parts of the world. Oh, really? not, not in the UK, as mm -hmm. far as I know. Um, normally, if you get stung by a Portuguese man of war, then the, the, the symptoms will be intense pain, uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes you have difficulty breathing, it can lead to convulsions, um, and Jeez. in extreme cases it can be fatal. Does it, does it depend on the size of them? Because I mean, I've seen the tiny ones washed up and I've seen large ones. I mean, it, is, the, is the size important? I think it depends on how, how many times you've been stung, because right. each tentacle has thousands of, of little stinging cells on it. So and what's the poison? What's the poison they, they, they administer to you? The, the poison, I don't know, I'm All right. afraid. <laughs> yeah, but it hurts. <laughs> it, hurt, it, it hurts a lot. I haven't been stung one by one, but and I... If you, and if you do get... And obviously, uh, if you tread on a dead one, that will still sting you, rather like a wasp can still sting you if you tread on it. Yes, well, I mean, as long as the cells are still hydrated, they can still work, they can still right. still. The cells, sting. you mean... The cells. The cells, the cells, the cells oh, in, in the yeah. tentacles. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you're stung by... If you brush up against one in the water, what, what sort of treatment should you try and get? I mean, I mean th there's this old thing about urinating on someone who's mm. been stung by... That would be wrong in many right. ways. <laughs> um, <laughs> Every way you can think of, yeah. I mean, I don't give out medical advice, so I'm not qualified, but if I got stung by a, a man of war, then I'd first get rid of the tentacles uh, with, with seawater, uh, mm -hmm. and then I'd apply vinegar to neutralise the poison, because you asked about the poison, the toxin, it's actually a kind of alkaline, alkaline toxin. Right. It's like, um, like weaver fish in Cornwall, then, they, they recognise yeah. using, is it vinegar or bleach for them, if you tread on one? Oh, uh, let's not confuse the great public, because I don't know, we'll, 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 now you said that, we'll have to find out, so can <laughs> someone go on the internet and find out what you do if you tread on a weaver fish in, in Cornwall. OK, so, good idea to take a bottle of sarsens down, then, with you. At the moment. Well, there's no need to be alarmist. I mean, we're talking about tens of these things washing up, and, and people don't need to be worried if they're going down to the beach. You know, that there's not a, an imminent danger. But I think people do need to be aware that they're out there. Because Good. And what, what, what should children don't go rushing in with the seawater? Well, exactly. To touch I mean, they're very beautiful creatures. They're sort of like partially inflated blue balloons with these lovely blue ribbons hanging off, and obviously the ribbons are the stinging tentacles. Mm. Um, yeah. And a child playing in the surf might be tempted to pick one up and show its mum and dad what it's found. Of course, that yeah. would be the wrong thing to Got do. It. Okay. All right, thank you for putting all that into context. So uh, maybe thank slightly alarmist headlines. Now we know where we are. And um, we'll tell you about the weaver fish in a few minutes.